welcome out to this week's episode of Retro Repair Tips. As always, I'm your Retro Repair Man, Cody Thomas, and this week on Retro Repair Tips, we're going to install the Sega Saturn mod chip. For playing all those bunk games you don't have because you're a law-abiding citizen. Right? Today we're going to be doing something that requires a bit of soldering experience, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have a decent handle on how to solder and you know, you don't screw things up too much. Um, so yeah, this has a potential to mess up your Saturn if you aren't careful. So definitely, definitely take your time. Maybe um, read a few soldering tutorials if you don't know how to solder very well. Um, yeah, maybe that's something I should put out in the future. If you ever want to see that, let me know. Let me know if you want to see soldering tutorials in the comments box below. Now, from what I understand about Sega Saturns, there are several different motherboard revisions, as well as two different mod chips you can use. So, in today's video, I'm going to be using the Sanyo motherboard, which is identified by having a kind of brown color on top here instead of green. Um, other noticeable differences are that the power cable is a little bit lower than most others, and yeah, it's just mainly just the color that's the big pop out. The mod chip we're going to be using is the SSIC-8B, and I've got a website that I used for research that I will definitely provide for you guys that has the different types of motherboards and different types of mod chips, so I'm just working with what I have here, and um, if your guys is like a little different setup, something I'm bad with words, if your guys setup is a little bit different then I'll have that link provided for you so you can get the one that you need specifically. Alright guys, well, for today's mod all we're going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver, our soldering iron of course, we're going to need our solder, and we're also going to need a good length of wire. Last time on Retro Repair Tips we tore down the Sega Saturn, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the mod this time, and if you need help opening it, then go ahead and check out the teardown video right there. Um, it was last episode, so yeah, um, with these new repair and mod guides, I'm going to try to jump just right into the action and have a link to the teardown for you guys if you need help opening it, so let's get started. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got the Saturn torn down just enough so that we can see the drive. Once again, you can see how to tear it down in this episode here. First, take a look at your drive. We need to remove both the power cable here and the drive cable here. There will also be one screw here, so take your small Phillips screwdriver and remove it. Okay, now that you got the drive loose, go ahead and set it aside. Remove the other end of the drive cable from the motherboard. Take your mod chip and look at it. Most mod chips come with the wires already pre-soldered in, but for you guys, I'll go ahead and do it on screen. We need to solder two wires to the mod chip itself. Flip it over and look at the back. The pin on the far left here needs 5 volts. The pin labeled A needs to connect to a pin on the drive board. Take your wire and cut two long lengths and solder one to each pin. Go ahead and take your drive cable and install one end into the socket on the mod chip here. Next, install the mod chip into the drive cable socket on the motherboard with the chips facing the left of the board. Alright, take your drive and flip it over. You want to take a look at the biggest chip on the right side here. We need to solder the wire from point A on the mod chip to pin 71 on this chip. Normally this would be pretty hard. Luckily for us, there is a solder point here which will also reach pin 71. 
Try your best to measure out the wire so there isn't too much excess and solder that wire in. Now you can place your drive back onto the motherboard. Return the one screw to its resting place and plug both the power and drive cables in. Lastly, we need to connect the 5 volts for the mod chip. We can pull this from the AC board here. On this little white connector we have 4 pins. Measure out the wire and connect it to the third pin from the bottom. You're done! Thanks for watching guys. I guess now y'all can totally see what I'm going for with these teardown videos. Because I've already torn down this particular Saturn, this mod guide was short, sweet, and to the point. This is how the new video architecture is going to go. Make a teardown video, ask for you guys suggestions for mods, repairs, and then make short, sweet, informative mods and repairs. Yeah. With that being said, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Any console, any handheld, any repair, any mod. Let me know, and I'll do it. Please let me know what you guys need done. I would like to help you. I'm here for you. Here to serve. I'm your servant. Your service pack. Anyways, guys. Really, thanks for watching. Like, I've just passed 300 subscribers and I just can't thank you guys enough because I honestly didn't expect anything to come from this channel so I'm really glad that you guys enjoy my stuff and I'm looking forward to doing this for X amount of years so I'm looking to stick around with you guys. Thanks. And um, the next giveaway, yeah, uh, that'll be happening at my 500 subscriber mark so who knows what it could be. Who knows what it could be. As always, I'm your retro repairman, Cody Thomas, saying, I don't know, go play some games or something. Aw oh, man, it's still broken?